Hello everyone, in this video, we'll be covering standard deviation and variance. Let's begin. Before uh, we begin about standard deviation and variance, let's take a little example. Okay, so you're in a class of five students and uh, in this class, your teacher takes a test of 10 marks and now the marks of the students are as follows. So 9, 8, 5, 2 and 6. Okay, so these are the marks of the five students. So now if I tell you to calculate the mean marks or the average marks of the class like 9 plus 8 plus 5 plus 2 plus 6 divided by total number of students that is 5 and I think the answer should come out to be 6. So the mean marks or the average marks of the class in this particular test is 6. Okay, now before moving on to finding out the standard deviation and variance of this data, let's create a graph. Okay, on the y-axis we have the marks of the students and on the x-axis we have nth student. I'll explain to you what nth student means. nth student means marks of the first student, marks of the second student, third student, fourth student and fifth student. Right? And marks would be something like 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Right? The maximum marks of the test are 10. So that's the maximum value on the y-axis. And now if I tell you to plot the given data. So now let us recall what the data was. The data was 9, 8, 5, 2, 6 were the marks that were obtained by the student, right? So first student scores nine marks, second student scores eight marks, third student scores five marks, four students scores two marks and the fifth student scores six marks okay now if i am to create a mean line the mean line of the data would be a line across the sixth mark right because six is the mean as we've just calculated here now now i want you to listen to this very carefully standard deviation is the spread of the data from the mean line okay the spread now what is the spread spread can also be referred to as the distance of a point from the mean line okay so this particular distance from this point that is 9 minus 6 3 units 8 minus 6 2 units 5 minus 6, 1 unit, 2 minus 6, 4 units, and 6 minus 6, that is 0 units. So, this is defined as the standard deviation of a particular point. Okay, but then the question arises that this is the standard deviation of one point, right? And if you have, you must have noticed that a point lies above the mean line or below the mean line, I still use the term unit. I did not say minus one unit or minus four units, right? So I am taking only the numerical value. It does not matter to me if it is below the line or above the line. Okay, so then it comes that what is the standard deviation of the data? So standard deviation of the data that is represented by sigma is equal to the square root of sum of all the values, sum of squared of all the values minus their mean divided by total number of values. Okay, what does this formula mean? Let me demonstrate you using this very example. So this would mean that the standard deviation would be square root of square of 9 minus 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. So square of 3 plus 8 minus 6, 2 square of 2 plus 5 minus 6 that is minus 1 so square of minus 1, 2 minus 6 minus 4 and 6 minus 6 0. So square of all this and then sum it all and then divided by the total number of observations that is 5. So this would turn out to be square root of 3 square is 9, 2 square is 4, minus 1 square is 1, 4 square is 
16 everything divided by 5 so 16 plus 4 20 20 plus 9 29 plus 1 30 divided by 5 should be root 6 this should be our standard deviation okay now let's write a little bit of code to find out the standard deviation so we have the marks array that is 9 8 5 2 6 let's make this a numpy array because uh, we would be using the inbuilt numpy mean function so i'll import numpy as np and uh, if i print marks dot mean so it should come out to be six okay so this is our array we have the exact same mean let's now create a function for defining the standard deviation now standard deviation function would take in input the array of which we have to find the standard deviation right or the data stream whatever is uh, the data in question we'll take that as input so mean value would be array dot mean okay now let's create a square val actually let's create a variable final val and initialize it with zero so for i in array value would be equal to i minus mean raised to the power 2 okay now you append not append you add this to the final value and then you return the division of the final val with length of the array raised to the power 0 0.5 that means square root of this particular value okay now if i run this function standard dev of marks we get the answer 2.44 okay so let's check if it is in consistency with our original answer let's raise it to 2 it should be close to 6 so 5.99 that is equivalent to 6 okay so root 6 is the final answer that is the standard deviation okay I hope now you understand what standard deviation means. Now let's come to what variance means. So standard deviation is represented by the symbol sigma. Variance is represented by the symbol sigma square. Which also means that if I have the value to standard deviation and I just square it, I will get variance. Okay. The mathematical importance of variance is not necessary right now. I just want you to know what variance means. And uh, in this case, the previous case where our standard deviation came out to be root 6, the variance would be square of root 6. That would be 6. So 6 is variance and root 6 is our standard deviation. So I hope you guys are clear with what is standard deviation and what is variance. And if you do have any doubts yet, please post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.